all the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one woman in her time plays many parts. My college is doing a production of As You Like It. We were rehearsing last week. And as I said those words, I looked into the wings, and my best friend Rachel is waving at me. And she was all twisted like she had to go to the bathroom or something. And I'm trying to remember my lines, and why is Rachel waving at me? I couldn't remember my lines. I just started laughing, and we stopped. It was vintage Rachel. So Rachel didn't have to go to the bathroom. It was a call from home. My brother, Ross, needed a bone marrow donor. Again. I guess, technically, my parents are asking me if I want to do it, and I want to want to do it. But I don't really feel like I have any choice. I try to pretend that I'm not scared, that it isn't really any big deal. I'm so scared. They used me for bone marrow before when I was 12. And anyway, it turns out that I also donated bone marrow to Ross when I was just a year old. It turns out that the only reason they ever even had me was because Ross needed bone marrow. I suppose none of us chooses to be born. Still, we have some sense, some illusion that we were willed into existence by the great forces of the cosmos. I was made for the sole purpose of providing Ross with spare parts. Who am I? Am I just some old car in the junkyard? You find which part you need and you take a hacksaw to it? I mean, if Ross is so defective, why don't they just let him die and conceive a replacement, Ross, the same way that they conceived me? I mean, when is it enough? I know that I'm just being selfish and scared. Of course I want to help my brother. It's just that I wish I could choose to help him. It's not my choice. It's my destiny. It's the only reason I exist. And why do any of us exist? Because our parents were drunk and bored one Saturday night a long time ago? I mean, is who we are forever determined by the circumstances of our past? Are we forever yoked by history? I don't think so. But then, if we redefine ourselves each moment, are we just machines being constantly loaded with different software? Is there such a thing as I? I have to believe that I am a unique person with a unique destiny. I may exist in Ross's shadow. There may be billions of humans on Earth, but there is only one me. No one may ever have the same thoughts and dreams and fears again. I was born of purely utilitarian reasons. I was born of someone else's choice. The future, I think, will be my own choice. <laughs>